In this video, we will review the Polycom Real Presence Resource Manager interface. The Resource Manager is sometimes referred to as the RPRM. Open your browser and type the Real Presence Resource Manager IP address or URL into the address bar. Your browser will open the RPRM login screen. Input your username and password, then select the login button. Once you are logged into the RPRM, you will see a pop-up box that displays the last successful login information. Click Close to close this window. You are now in the dashboard of the RPRM. You will notice in the top right corner the Add Panes button. This allows you to choose several options to add to the dashboard. A recommended pane for the dashboard is the Endpoints pane. The Endpoint pane is a quick way to view your endpoints based on a few simple filters. You need to add a title for the pane and then select whether you want to view all endpoints, view by site, or view specific endpoints. Take a few minutes and review the variety of panes that are available and decide which ones you like. Now let's move on to the endpoint menu. This menu is one of the more commonly used menus in the resource manager system. The monitor view gives you details about your codecs. First, notice that you can sort the list of devices by clicking on the column headers. Let's start by selecting a codec in the list. When you select a group series device, you will see more actions on the left side of the interface than when you select a Real Presence desktop. Different devices have different options for management. Select a group series codec and then click the View Details action. A pop up window provides you with details about the configuration and current calls for the device. When you are in a call, you see statistics about the call. You also see a video snapshot of the camera view if the permissions is enabled on the endpoint. Clicking the arrow allows you to open the extra detail that you see. Pay special attention to the provisioning details frame because it shows you the provisioning rules and profiles that are applied to this codec. If you navigate back to the Endpoint menu and then the Dynamic Management menu, you can review the provisioning rules and provisioning profiles that were used. We will cover dynamic management and provisioning in another video on this site. Now select the Network Device menu and click the Instances option. This screen allows you to see all of the devices associated with your Clarity deployment, including the DMA and MCU. If you click on DMA, then More, you can view DMA pool orders. You can mouse over each of the icons in this interface to get a status of the device. Now, let's navigate to the Network Topology menu. This menu allows you to see the network based on a video conferencing perspective. Click the Site Topology menu. A network diagram is displayed with your video locations connected to each other. If you click View Details, a list of available sites will appear on the right side of the interface. Select a location and the map will zoom into that location. Zoom in and out using the arrows on the left upper corner of the map. Click and drag with your mouse to move. If you mouse over the percentage indicator on the network links, you will see basic details about that link. Go back to the network topology menu and select the sites option. Highlight a site and then click more then the Site Information action item. You see site details and also a list of any alarms that are present. On the left side of the interface, you can review the other menu options including Site Links, Site to Site Exclusions, and Network Clouds. Next, we'll review the User menu. Click on the User menu, then Users. Now click on the Add icon. You can add a user to the system if needed, using this interface. After you input the required information, select the Associated Roles tab. Add the correct roles for this user. If you are unsure of which roles to apply, review the User Roles menu under the User menu. You can add multiple roles to one user. Press OK when you are done. The last menu we will review is the Reports menu. The site statistics and site link statistics allow you to see the current state of each. If you do not have calls and conferences running, you will see zeros on the chart. 
The Endpoint Usage Report provides a variety of statistics that can be used to show the activity for different codecs. Select a codec, then click More and Generate Reports to show these statistics as charts and graphs. The report includes a summary based on bandwidth, call times to show peak hours during the day, inbound and outbound pie graphs, plus two call detail record spreadsheets. This concludes our review of the RPRM interface.